What up YouTube? Back with another video. This is gonna be another unboxing. As y'all can see, this is from Auto Tech Engineering. And it is not an alternator, but it is alternator related. Um, I just ordered this a couple weeks ago. And I just got it today. Figured I'd do a quick unboxing. So, this box did have a little damage on it. So, I hope everything inside is okay. Alright, let's get right into it. bubble wrap in it so doesn't look like I need to be that worried here's the here's my here's what it is voltage controller with digital voltage meter So that's what I guess that's the wires that it goes into. The black wire connects to the ground. The yellow wire connects to your 12 volt ignition source wire. So and not that count. It doesn't look that complicated. And these are specifically made to, to hook up. To the um to the alternators that they sell like mine is a 320 amp alternator it's set at uh 14 8 14 9 i think it idles around 14 8 14 9 so that's where i'm sitting at in idle off it Juggles back between 14.8 and 14.9. This has got to be the, I think this is the controller. how they wrapped it up there it is auto tech engineering so I, I know they have the um the digital ones you can I think they have an option to get the digital ones the ones that actually show you what voltage but my I, I have a voltage meter that's hooked up right to the amp and I'm going to um, either go off of that or go just get a multimeter and go off of the um, the voltage from the alternator and, and I think I might set it from the alternator I mean if, if I'm if that's not the correct way, then somebody can let me know. But from what I'm from what I'm told, the alternator is slightly different than the um, than what's coming from the amplifier. But I go by what comes from the amplifier. I have because I have it wired. I have my voltage meter wired straight back to the amp, 
So I'll go by off of the um, what, what the amplifier says. And here's my, my ground, and then this is for the ignition switch. And this plugs it right into the alternator. So it's like basically almost a uh, plug and play. Oh yeah, it's not bad. I mean, so I'm I'm probably going to set it around fifteen two, fifteen three, and see how. I know some vehicles will start to act funky, the computer, and um, and some people start having issues, but um. I, my buddy's a mechanic, so he, I was going to go to his house and and um and mess with it there and see what just in case you know I had any issues. But um, since it's at fourteen eight fourteen nine, I was going to go ahead and uh, boost it up to uh, fifteen two fifteen three around there, mid fifteens maybe, no more than no more than fifteen four fifteen five. So that way, um, that way I can get more efficiency from the better efficiency from my battery, my Yinglong LTO, uh, my 40 amp hour, and also, you know, get a little bit more power from my amplifier. So that's the main purpose of this. From, from what I was told when I ordered that battery off from uh, Dropping Hertz, Cody from Dropping Hertz told me to not to try not to let the battery idle under 14.8. He said it um, it would uh, basically kill the battery slowly and um, it would cut back on the, the battery life running it underneath 14.8. And he said, and also running it above 14.8 would uh, would get better efficiency out of that battery. That it would get the best performance basically out of that uh, out of that 40 amp hour Yunlong LTO. So that's the whole purpose of me getting this. And like I said, I got this from Auto Tech Engineering, where it, where I also uh, got my um, where I also ordered my 320 amp alternator as well so like i said this this harness this um voltage control uh, controller actually is made to go into those alternators specifically for those alternators so hopefully everything goes good and um as soon as i get it hooked up maybe i'll do a video of me um hooking it up and then after i hook it up actually turning the the voltage up That way I can see it in action. And and then after that, start um uh, start doing some demos. Seeing how the, the battery performs as well as the as the amplifier. I should get better efficiency from all of that. So that's what I'm hoping for at least. But um uh, I think I paid about, I think I paid 125 for this. Like I said, there are digital ones that come with a little screen right here, and actually tells you what the voltage is as you're as you're turning it. It shows it climbing and um and also climbing down. So um, I'm not sure exactly how much those are. To be honest, I originally thought that I would. That's the one that I was going to get. So. I'm a little surprised that they sent this one instead, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it anyways. Like I said, I got a voltage meter. I can always hook up a voltage meter to the, under the hood. So, I mean, I got extra ones from Down for Sound or extra ones lying around. So I'm pretty sure I can find something to accommodate it. So um, that's basically it though. Just wanted to show y'all what I got. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm like I needed a little boost in my voltage, so I figure, you know, this is this is the this is an alternate way to um, boost up your voltage 
other than using a diode which which I was originally gonna try out but I didn't want to um, I didn't want to try that out if it wasn't gonna be a, a, a for sure thing if it wasn't going to work properly but um, I think I like this option better it looks better and like I said it's made specifically for those alternators so to, for me it's the safer option so I went ahead and, and went with this controller so we'll see how it goes and as soon as I get that uh, installed I'll do a quick video showing you how that works how it, how it comes out and um, I got I actually got another surprise should be getting here by tomorrow maybe um, I'll do an unboxing on that when I get that so but that's basically all I got for right now to the next one